This is your second video by the same company that did Camera Clash, which is on the left hand side. There's more in the description of this video. So Camera Clash does like a um, type of a kaleidoscope animated effect. The one on the right that we want is Photo Window, which does an ongoing infinite tunnel. So we're going to do that next. So we're going to tap on the Photo Window icon here on the right hand side, two eyes, blue eyes. And then what I can do is I can go to my bottom right, a little plus here in blue, white plus in a blue circle, tap on that. I get a pop-up. I want the, not the camera, but the one on the very, very top, which get, gains access to your photo library. Tap on that. And this one I pre-prepared earlier, so I'm going to tap this one. Bottom right, there's a green tick mark down here. Tap on that. That's going to load it and then top left here, I've got some shapes. I don't want a square because what I did is I had a little circle here. So I don't want a square shape, I want a circle. So what I'm going to do is select from square to the top left. Now it becomes a circle. Can you see that? Just a reminder, this is a circle now. So then what I need to do is you see this control handles here at the very corners of this preview. I can use that to move it around and get the right shape. So I'm going to do that next. So you've noticed now that I've done that as a tunneling effect. Bottom right here. Let me get rid of that. Bottom right, I have a tick mark. Tap that to proceed to the next step. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. Now, let's say I can control the speed to start with bottom right. That looks like little bars like that. That controls the speed. So obviously I'm on two, which is quite quick. And that's going to cycle. If I tap, it's going to go to three. If I tap again, it's going to go on one. And if I want to change, so this is the standard effect. Now, I love that. Now, if I want to do 3D bottom, not right, but bottom left here, I have a square. I can tap that to change it to 3D and let's see what happens next. Tap. Look at this. Wow. Can you see that? Isn't that fantastic? So you can actually save this as a GIF file and keep it going forever. So let's finish that process and then I'm going to show you another trick hack at the end of this video. So when we want to save this, if you look here at the very top here, we have an arrow pointing down. So that means this is how to save. So we're going to do that next. Arrow pointing down, save. I want it as a GIF animation, which is what you see, an ongoing looping effect. Bottom right of the dialog box, we have next. Tap on that. Normal or high, you want the highest quality possible so it doesn't look all kind of grungy. So bottom right, next. So it does it out of 30. Once it gets done, it's going to save it to your library. You have to hit save again. But notice that you have a watermark here. So if you don't mind that, that's fine. Notice it saves it only as GIF. If you if you convert from GIF to video, it's going to lose quality. I'm going to show you a trick now, and I'll tell you about it to save it as a video. Okay? So we're going to hit save again in the pop-up. That's going to save it. So let me do it again and show you. So I'm going to hit save, GIF, next, hi, next. I'm doing it again because I didn't see the dialog popping up that has been saved to the library. Save here. Now the pop-up you see has been saved to your gallery. So now I can close. That's done. Right. If I want to capture this as a video, I will have to use a screen recorder. What well, that means if, if I draw a kind of... So you want to record the whole screen and then what you want to do is crop it. So you don't want to get this icons down here. You don't want this stuff. So use a screen recorder to do that. And then you capture this part on the top straight to video. Take care. I hope you enjoyed the other video. Links in the description in YouTube. If you're on Facebook, go there and have a look. But this is really fantastic for relaxation. You put some music. I've got a video on music generation with um, intelligent AI software. That's really, really good. And this is kind of a chill out thing. Take care. Thank you so much for listening.